This is the killer in action. This series of pictures passed to Sky News were taken as he walked nonchalantly away from his beach and hotel attack on sunbathing tourists. AK-47 and what eyewitnesses believe is a grenade in hand, he appears utterly relaxed. He had attacked the tourists after swimming in the sea with weapons concealed in a parasol. In this sequence it's clear he hasn't been approached by any members of the security services. Over 30 people are already dead or dying. Within minutes, he too comes under attack in a side street. Helicopters circle overhead as snipers on roofs finally shoot the gunman dead. Gun. What, he, his, his weapon didn't fire. Yeah. He, he don't like <laughs> one, two, one, Amongst the rescuers like was Fawzi. He helped where he could. He says the police were there, but didn't use their weapons, or they weren't fired, or at least didn't so fire. Just explain. So there were armed police here, but they didn't use their weapons, so their weapons didn't work. Yeah, the red don't work. <clears throat> he was there with a the boat, wow. about five meters. And the man first, he came here to the lady, first lady, because you have one lady without... So, because some guy there, he worked here, he told me he was here, and he come back. And he have the parasol there, the umbrella, he have the... Stay by the parasol, I think he do like this and like this. And quickly, Kill the, the lady, the first lady, the person, three times. And after he do like, and all the, after he put the one, everybody, one of the people is, uh, he changed the, he's finished the, the people he go from here and he goes slowly, slowly like this. And the people around, he going, and the man, the boss of this place, they have the parachute, they have jet ski, he said, go, 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 go. And after, I don't know, he was there in the reception and, <clears throat> At the scene of the attack, shocked tourists who are still here gather to pay their respects. It could have been any one of them. Well, this is clearly the softest of soft targets. The argument goes is that it's impossible to try and defend a beach where people are sunbathing and they've got virtually nowhere to run to. But the management of the various hotels here are saying there are going to have to be some serious changes, that there will have to be police on the beaches and in the hotels and they, they need to be armed if they're ever to convince people to come back on holiday to Tunisia in the future. Islamic State says they planned this attack on Westerners. But why this man carried out this dreadful killing spree is complicated to answer. Tunisia, like the rest of the world, is failing to comprehend, or for that matter, stop it.